Hello, Leos. This is your reading for you versus them <clears throat> for the 29th through the 4th of February, guys. Let's see what's going on for Leo. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for you guys currently here for Leo. Nine of Wands. Feeling tired. Some of you are feeling like you should just give up. Like there's nothing else you can do regarding um, the situation. Hmm. Like there's nothing else that you can do. They have the Nine of Wands currently. I think um, they're probably feeling the same way. That... Um, but but this person over here on this side has one foot in and one foot out like they're still very much present here with you okay but i feel like this person is trying to move on past this um i think the difference in your situation and theirs right now currently is that you guys are feeling kind of stuck in this situation um like there's something that you want to do but you're feeling like currently there's nothing that you can do i feel like this person is trying to drop it although energetically they're still very much here with you but they're trying to move on some of them are actually moving to different locations here but more than that they're trying to move on they're trying to they want to start dating again they want to get back out there okay let's see what's keeping you from them feeling stuck like there's nothing that you can do it's like you taking your hands off of the wheel and you're just you know letting it be i think you're just letting it be right now but at the same time i do feel like you know a part of you really wants to reach out and um, communicate with this person talk to this person about you know what is going on between the two of you what happened between the two of you even but you're feeling like I mean there's nothing you can do at this point feeling very stuck could be another person involved for them maybe um, a Scorpio energy cancer Pisces even but I feel like um, more so than that this individual is really trying to gain their um, emotional stability and they really don't feel like they were um, stable in the connection with you okay they feel like you know there was a lot of arguments between the two of you and they felt you know off kilter is what I'm getting here a lot not stable but they're still they're still right here with you in in this energy with you um i think both of you are probably having a few regrets about um not being together now the influence here for you is the two of pentacles this is all about balance as well this is about deciding making a decision making a choice on the things that you want in your life because you can if it's if it's work that you're focused on right now um, and, and feeling like, you know, you can't have work and, you know, have a committed relationship. Um, this is saying that you can, okay? This is saying that you can because I think right now you've got work in the bag, all right? And, you know, this situation with this person is still up in the air. So it's really kind of deciding what it is that you want. And if you, you're wanting it, if you're wanting it, then you can't just take your hands off of it. You have to be able to, um, you know, un unstick yourself and make moves towards what it is that you really want, knowing that you can keep going. You can make a difference here, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what their influence is here. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. Now we have three court cards here. I think that 
this person is a little all over the place. Um, I think they're working on what it is that they really want in their life. What's going to bring them happiness? What's going to bring them stability? Um, and they're trying to, like, they're really working on this. They're trying to think intellectually about it. And they're trying to do things that advance their cause. I feel like, you know, there is there is a water sign individual that this individual that your person um, has in their life currently uh, it could be a father figure it could be a mother figure um, it could be an intimate partner that they're thinking about but if this is an intimate partner this is somebody that they have known before and I feel like I feel like they've tried to to get involved with someone to get over what has gone on between the two of you. But at the same time, I don't really feel like this is the person for them and they know that this is not the person for them. It's what I'm getting strongly here. And I feel like they have spoken um, spoken this to this person and so now they're just really trying to focus on themselves but there was somebody I do feel that was um, that they when I say involved with I mean like trying to maybe um, maybe secure a connection with um, maybe start to date talk to and then under your deck I see the the King of Cups here. So maybe too, this is a situation that involves um, the emotional stability between the two of you. Maybe it was lacking in the relationship here. And that is what they're trying to figure out. Like, you know, what went wrong is what I'm getting here too. Okay, for some of you. Let's see what's blocking you guys. Not doing anything, being very stubborn. I feel like this person is also, um, you know, playing a part in, in why you feel like, you know, there's nothing you can do here. Maybe this is a very, very strong individual. Um, maybe they are stubborn. Maybe they like things their way. They don't like to budge. They don't like to compromise, um, but I think it's more so your confidence that is blocking you that this can happen, okay? This can happen. Let's see what's blocking them. The Six of Wands. They feel like they would be more successful. Getting back out there. Um, they don't really feel like, you know, it was a success with you. And I think this is also them feeling like you guys, um, you lack attention. Felt like you weren't really in it to win it. But I think this is them also feeling that they can have success elsewhere. That there's something like better suited for them. Okay. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. The Six of Pentacles. This is giving your time and energy to work and build on this thing. This is to actually, like I said, unstick yourself. Decide that this is what you want, if this is what you want. And put in the work. 
Yeah. Let's see what the advice is for them. <laughs> to wake up. That every, you know, all attention is not good attention. Um, that, you know, their emotional stability is, is probably what is keeping them from being unsuccessful. Okay. That there is a truth that needs to be spoken. You know, maybe um, this person is still so very focused on this breakup or a breakup. Maybe they are. Stop being so angry. <laughs> Because their anger is blocking them from the success that they want so very badly. Very angry over here, I feel. Um, ready to cut somebody's head off. <laughs> it's like this person sees, I'm getting strongly, they see that they could have A very successful relationship here but they are blocking it with their anger they are blocking it with their actions of um, you know being kind of flaky one foot in one foot out um, being very hurtful with their words being very arrogant feeling like they don't need anybody um, feeling like they can get all the attention that they want they're attracted for some reason, my camera just cut out. But um, as I was saying before the camera cut out, I don't know where it cut out at. But this is being very arrogant, very, very cocky here. And I think that the advice for them is to um, basically wake up and to realize that, you know, part of the reason why they're not getting what they want or getting what they feel like they deserve in their life is is partly because of their actions their words the way they behave in situations okay so let's see what the outcome is for you guys here hmm. i think you will unstick yourself and decide what it is that you want if it's like having a relationship where you know there's reciprocity in it i think you will you will not accept anything less than that okay if you feel like you want to talk about what it is that has gone on between the two of you i think you will get to a point where you definitely can do that but i don't think that you i think you will not be stuck in the past i think that you guys will definitely gain your confidence and involve yourself in relationships and situations where you know you can build upon a foundation you can build it up to the ten of pentacles you can have everything that it is that you want excuse me but you're gonna have to have the strength to work towards it here okay let's see what their outcome is here The Six of Pentacles. Huh. This is bridging a gap between you guys. I feel like this person will get their head out of their behind and um, they will realize that in order to have anything with anybody, um, there has to be reciprocity. There has to be transparency, okay? And you have to um, invest the time and energy into the situation and not, you know, be so focused on um, the anger, the breakup, whatever happened between the two of you. Sixes are balanced here. 
So this can really be successful if both of you guys, I feel, um, devote the time and energy here. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and bridge this gap between the two of you. Now, let's see. Here. Two of coins. Again. You both need to decide what it is that you want. Decide what it is that you want. But I think this involves you guys spending the time together, devoting the time together here. If you want to be together, you're going to have to put the time and the effort in this to balance the situation out. Okay? Ace of Cups. And the Five of Swords. Fight for this love. Fight for this love. Hmm. This is fighting for it. Fighting for this. I think the other person has given up. Because they're, they're really focused on themselves right now. I don't know what happened here, but over here on this side, we have Taurus, we have Leo, um, Scorpio energy here, uh, maybe Sagittarius, Aquarius on this side, but um, somebody over here has given up on this side, on this connection, and I feel like they're, um, because they're really not, they're really not woke. This person's not woke over here on this side, and there's an awakening that needs to happen. I feel like there's some healing that needs to happen over here as well. Okay. I don't really feel like you guys, um, you don't have much confidence that this can work out at this point. I think you're willing to devote the time. If you had reassurance that this person was willing to, you know, do the same. But in the meantime, I think that you guys are more focused on, you know, your confidence um, in feeling that, you know, maybe you have already given your all. I'm not sure which one of you has already given your all um, because, you know, this could be you, but this could also be you. The energy can go vice versa here. But um, somebody's just really trying to just gain their gain their confidence back um, to to know that you know what they've done is sufficient and that they've done everything that they can do here with the six of pentacles and find the strength to stand in their own power. Know that they can move forward with or without this person. Okay. So my Leos, that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.